I, I don't know. I just don't understand it. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's this, and it's so nonlinear, too. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't get the time thing, which is why, why the whole Cali time thing exists. <laughs> so, so I, I guess um, we're going to have to kind of cover it tonight. Yes. Well, we'll cover it a little bit next week, but, but I guess uh, this is probably going to have to um, be the show that we... We can, we, we can probably talk about it this week. We can talk about it the week after as well. Yeah, true. It's being held he here in Connecticut and in many places throughout the country and the world on November 20th, but the date's not necessarily firm. In Massachusetts, right. they're doing it on November 13th. Um, and, and even within, within the state, there are different, um, different ceremonies, different, um, yeah, yeah. different places. Um, unity up in uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, holding their vigil on Friday, I think. Yeah, yeah, the 13th. Right. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, that corresponds to their, this is their normal meeting week, so. Um, right. So they have some, some things going on. I'm sure on the 20th there will be some things going on in Hartford. Yeah, yeah I yep. there is. Um, SeaTac is working with um, the MPC church there. Um, to make arrangements. They're definitely going to do their gathering and their march from the Capitol. There's, um, I think there's still a question as to where they're going to um, hold the reception afterwards, but it's probably going to be at the MPC Church. Yeah. So that's coming up. God, that's coming up really soon. Um, but that's a, that's a, um, it's a tough thing, the whole, the whole um, Transgender Day of Remembrance. You know, it's, um, it's tough for us because we have to sort of right. look at, um, mm -hmm. at some of what's happened in the past year and in past years. Um, and then have to sort of remember all the, yeah. the horrible things that you've done. It's, it is horrible. It's Because um, no sooner do you read a list of names than... There's more. Literally, then you're building another list of names. Right. Yeah. And for, for anyone who's watching that's not familiar with it, the Transgender Day of Remembrance is a day when um, the, the gender and sexual minority community and their allies get together to remember those folks who have uh, suffered and uh, in many cases been killed simply because they're transgender and they were trying to live their lives. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, in many, many cases, extremely brutally murdered. Yes. Um, And yeah, I'm just, so. just, I'm just because, thumbing down Usually this because list. someone's ego got bruised. Yeah, um, it, it really is a shame, isn't it? And it's, it's certainly the reason why, that, why we're so very careful about um, how we handle certain things. Dating. <laughs> um, Introducing yourself to strangers. Yeah. There are times, times we can't go various places. It's just not in our best interest. Yeah, we certainly have to be very careful. Um, I know as, as a group, we tend to be sort of out there. We've kind of um, accepted that, um, that we're going to put ourselves at risk a bit um, just to try to get the word out. And I mean, it's what we do. <coughs> but um, but we can be in, in, in grave danger. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want this to be a downer. Hmm. But it is, it's a sort of a, it's a memorial, it's kind of a memorial day for us. And, um, and it's, it's important to remember that, um, that there are a lot of people out there that would like to hurt us. And I don't know why, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, you know, we're pretty harmless. There's, there's, uh, if, if you follow the papers, not, not, if you follow the, the, the news channels, not just here in the U.S., but in Europe and around the world, you'll find... Uh, um, uh, generally find a major trans-related murder every month yeah. somewhere in the world. And, and, you know, very likely many more that don't make the major news sources. Sure. And then there are, of course, those that, um, mm, right. that, that you really can't classify that way, that, that, um, that aren't classified as as being caused because the person was transgender, but... Yeah. There's a body found by the side of the road. Yeah. Undetermined reason for a cause of sure. death. So, I just went down this list of names for this year, and um, I may be suffering a math aphasia, and just, you know, count, just counting off of this, 
this um, website, which is um, transgender.org, um, dealing with the Day of Remembrance, and I'm seeing yeah. 64 names. Right. There's actually a website, Better than a, one a, per Tudor, week. a Tudor website. Um, yeah, probably. this is the International um, Transgender Day of Remembrance. I tried to go to the Tidor website. Oh, this is. That is, yeah. 64. 64. Yeah. Past I think the reporting's gotten better. I think news sources have gotten less afraid to report that it's a trans-related right. murder. Because I don't think they reported 64 last year. No, there was something, I think it was around 20-something from right. last I, year. Right, I seem to remember like 27 or something like yeah. that. So you're right, it might be a question of reporting rather than increased violence. It, it may be both, but, but yeah, I, I think just as, we, just as we're more in the public eye nowadays, I think, I think that's, you know, I think historically it would just be, maybe it was a gay murder, maybe it was a, a, a sex crime murder, maybe it was classified some other way. Right. You know, and now folks are more, more willing to say, you know, this person was transgender. They were killed because somebody found out. That's my phone. Oh, oh that's <laughs> that we have have a strange, <laughs> strange, some strange music going on here in the studio. So. Hopefully, that's not picked up. But <laughs> anyway, um, that's if we all look surprised, that's why. But um, but anyway, yeah. So it's um, forgot to turn that one off. I thought 60. I heard someone yelp out there. <clears throat> that was why. Mm. 64, 64 people dead past year. Starting, um, interestingly, I mean, I said moments ago that you read one list of names and literally you're building the net. Right. You're already building the next list. The first death year was from November 20th, 2008. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's a sad cycle. Yeah. It doesn't stop. I mean, we, we read the list last year. Right. We'd be yeah. hard. And we did it in about, I did it in about five minutes. <coughs> We'd be hard yeah, to do. 15, 20 minutes to go through the list of names. Yeah. 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 <coughs> it's too bad. <coughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that's um, and the I don't I don't think that the transgender day of remembrance list um, includes those trans folks that took their own lives. Mm. Right. Um, you know we've we've talked about it in the past, and the fact that fifty percent of the transgender community attempts suicide and thirty percent succeeds is uh, is a big deal. Especially when in the overall community, it, I think it's what. Three and a hundred thousand. Three and a hundred thousand. So that that I think it's ten thousand times more. That right. That's it's orders <coughs> of mag many yes. orders of magnitude more, which is yeah. it's a factor of ten thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And and rarely do those kinds of issues, whether it's suicide or whether it's even something like dropping out of school, rarely do those um, situations get tagged as.